Can you hear me now, Daniel? I'm just waiting for Daniel to see if he can hear me now. I've changed the microphone from built-in input to built-in microphone. Hopefully you can hear me now, Daniel. I'm not sure if Daniel can, uh, can hear me. some of the applications which are running in the background but anyway just to show you what the software looks like ah you can hear me now that's good gracias compadre hace tiempo ya viejo okay so Daniel can hear me now but I wanted to show you this software so this is the ecamm live website where you can go and acquire these platform the software so apparently people could not hear me so now that you can hear me i'm just going to go through a little bit of what this is so this is the ecamm app which uh ecamm application which i've put right there E C A double M. So the ecom application allows you to do a Facebook live on the desktop, especially if you have an, a, a Mac. It doesn't work on on Windows yet, but I'm sure they are working on that. So what it, that allows you to do is to put images. So you can put images. As you can see, I can move the image around. And you can also move the words around so you could put your name there if people don't know uh, what you do that you could put your name there and then you could um, let people know what you're talking about like now I'm talking about Facebook live using Ecamm live so Ecamm live is a platform it's a software and Ecamm is the name I've put it down here as well you can move it around as well you can put it up there but I prefer it right here for now. But you can also put your name down there just in case there are people who are not sure. But obviously if you're on Facebook, they will know. And you can make it bigger and you can make it smaller, okay? So I'm just gonna keep it big. Okay, so you know which software I'm talking about. And you can also do the same with the Facebook Live. Okay, so I've made it maximum. And you can also make the image bigger. But you can also add, instead of an image, okay, you can also add, <coughs> let's make it smaller. There we go. You can also add video. Okay, so if you have video, you can add uh, video overlay and have it right there. Okay, so this is important because then it means that instead of just doing Facebook Live on my mobile device, I can now do Facebook Live on a desktop and I can share many of the desktop uh one of the things on my desktop, like I might want to share the screen of my desktop. Okay, but because it's live and it's on Facebook, I can do that. Although there is um, better software that you can use for, say, uh, make uh, with more functionalities, and it's called it's called ScreenFlow. But with ScreenFlow. With ScreenFlow, I think it hasn't loaded yet. Current application is the ECAM, but I want the ScreenFlow. It's not yet showing. 
Let me try and get it again. Screen flow. And then try to put it here. It's not showing up at the moment. So let's see. Find I change mails well, I don't want any of that, so I'm gonna go back to that. Okay. So I'm not going to um, spend any more of your time for now. I just wanted to see that it is working and it is working. It's Facebook Live using Ecamm Live, uh, which is the same company which makes the software called Ecamm Movie Tools, which I also use to record Skype interviews. And they've also got something else that you can use, another piece of software which you can use to record um, Facebook Messenger, not Facebook Messenger, but if you have iOS devices, if you have Apple devices and you're doing um, FaceTime call, you can record the FaceTime call. So they've got those three softwares. You can record FaceTime. First time you can record um, Skype and you can also record your desktop now, which is brilliant, and put it straight to Facebook. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm gonna stop now, Facebook, and I'll catch you in the next video.